Ian. Yep. Uh, we have a Patreon, don't we? Yep. Patreon.com slash CU podcast. Go there, deposit your monies and your credits. And like it's a vending machine. You hit eight, 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 and you get your Twix bar. <laughs> a C3. Uh, and in exchange, uh, we, we offer you things. We have uh, the full video oh. podcast. Full video podcast comes out every week. Uh, we I do writings uh, most weeks, just about every week. Uh, this week, I did my game of the year. Go check that out. Um I do a hangout once a month. You do. We do. And a writing once a week. Right. I said that. Uh, and poll topics. We do these poll topics for you. For vote you. On. For you out there. And if, and if you want to, you know, shell in a couple of bucks and you can vote on them. In third place, what sitcom will make a good video game? 27%. In second place, what do you miss most about gaming conventions like MAGFest? 29%. And in first place, Ian, it's Ian's bread and butter. What are your, your best pickup and play games games you can just pick up and play easily get a nice little session out of them and put them back in don't worry about it so i wanted to go with slightly more modern games uh just because i think arcade games are pretty easy that's a pretty easy um Target. genre yeah. to just pick up and play um so i started to think about some games that i used to like to jump into for a round or two uh, and one of them that comes to my mind uh, quickly is Katamari Damacy, um, which I've always loved. Uh, it's fairly well known at this point. It's a series of games, um, I believe, by Keita Takahashi, uh, and that was when he was at Namco. And basically, you play as a little space prince who has to make stars for the galaxy, and you do so by rolling a little sticky ball around, and the ball picks up um, you know, household objects. And starts usually very small, although depending on the level, it can start bigger. So you'll start picking up things like paper clips and erasers. And as the ball gets bigger, you'll be able to pick up things like pencils and staplers. And then you'll fall off the, you know, the desk and you'll start picking up, you know, household toys and then cats and then humans and then buildings. And it just, it spirals out of control very quickly. It has a very, uh, I'd say... How do the cats breathe? Are they able to breathe in the ball? I don't know. You hear a meow as you okay, roll they're around. Okay, they're yeah, okay. they're fine. All right. This isn't a horror, <laughs> horror movie. Okay. And then you do send them into space and turn them into a star, though. So, I mean, I don't think they're really living. Oh, sorry. Um, sorry, cats. Th- most of the levels have a very simple goal, uh, and most of them have uh, a time limit. So, it's well, easy to... It's easy. It's easy to pick up a uh, pick up Katamari and play just a couple of rounds before going on to do something else. And the levels feel like really self-contained. It's fun to watch yourself start out really small and then get really big. So it's it's satisfy. It, like it provides a satisfying gameplay loop within the five or ten minutes that a round Oops. of Katamari um, might take. Another game that's recent that I really like for pick up and play, I I guess I say recent, but at this point it's probably five years old, is Gang Beasts, which I think I might have mentioned on here before. Gang Beasts? Gang Beasts. Um, Gang Beasts is a very, very strange uh, four-player, like, arena brawler with uh, very weird physics and very strange controls. Um, everything feels floaty and weird and controls kind of like shit. And that's sort of the purpose as you pick up and grab your You're opponents. Like rubber and, guys fighting? And punch them and try to basically throw them over the edges or into grinders and things like that. How did I never hear this game before? This looks incredible. I think I've talked about it on here. I love Gang Beasts. There, there's a stage where you're, you're on two moving trucks that are, that are yep. on the highway? Uh-huh. What? There's one where you're on a big blimp. Yeah, the game's fucking incredible, and um, it's because there is strategy to it, and there are things to learn about it, but the controls themselves are so weird and floaty that it does kind of put people on even grounding. Um, And to this day, I can still turn on my PlayStation 4 and fire up my copy of Gang Beasts and find people to play online with. And that's what I use Gang Beasts for is at night, if I want to play something stupid real quick, <laughs> and I, 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 I can. And that's that's what's great about like Gang Beasts. Goofy, I can jump. goofy Power Stone. Yeah. It's a free open environment. You walk around. Mm-hmm. It's not 2D. I can uh, I can jump what in and up? play two rounds, or I can play ten. I really, really love Game there, Beast. Wow, there's like there's one they're on a Zeppelin hanging. There's a there's a yeah, wrestling that's ring. That's what one. I was talking about. The high How I never heard like, this this should be a huge game. This it was for a while, and it I mean it still wow. has people who play it. it still does. Wow, uh, great soundtrack too. It's on Steam as well. And then uh, 
Shooters. Came, came out three years ago, so it's not too old. Okay. Shooters are uh, no shooter in particular, but one of the reasons why I love shooters and why shooters are my favorite genre is because uh, there's a lot of learning and pattern recognition you can hey. do. A lot of them have uh, deep scoring systems. Hmm. This is a brand deal I don't know about because Gang Beast is on sale for fifty for fifty percent off by January fifth on Steam. Look it's at that. a Steam winter sale, so most oh, okay. things are. What's the All price right. on Steam? Uh, it's it's ten bucks on sale right now. Okay, I'll, I have it on PS4, but I'll buy it for Steam because it, it's just it's give, give us our money, Steam. It's that and, fucking good. Yeah. Um, I need to get the soundtrack too. Uh, anyways, shooters, great, lots to learn, deep scoring systems, pattern You're recognition. Falling off screen a little bit, buddy. Come a little closer. There but you, go. you can. Uh, they're short. I mean, even if you're good at a shooter, uh, like a bullet hell shooter, what are they, five stages? You can do a run in 20, 25, 25 minutes, minutes and wipe off your hands. So those are those are three wipe random your, picks. You're your sweaty or KFC your console Your sweaty, fingers. greasy hands. Chicken chicken chamber fingers. Chicken chamber. Fuck. All right, what about you? <laughs> um, trying to stay away from the arcade ones, but well, these are games that were in the arcade, but you can still play them. Uh, I love... Simple racing games, uh, single screen like Super Sprint or Super Off Road. Oh, yeah. You can play through a game of Super Off Road. Maybe you don't do the whole courses that go around and around. Like 20 minutes, you can get a nice little little session of Super Off Road. It's fun. It's simple. It's pick up. It's pick up and play. You don't need to. You don't need to know anything. You got a, a button to go and a button for nitro, and that's it. Yeah. Super Off Road so is great. Uh, simple controls is, is to me what defines a pick up and play game. Like you don't have to read up on it. You can just say, okay, I'm playing this game. Yeah, I uh, should mention that too. The, the ones I mentioned are all very. Fairly intuitive, easy to pick up and play. Shooters have what usually two buttons. Yeah, easy, uh, easy to learn, tough to master. Try to right? Mario is literally you just roll around with two joysticks. Uh, quick games, NBA Jam game takes like ten minutes to play. An NBA oh, Jam game. good, good call. NBA Jam game, you put it on. I'll get one or two games in, and I'm good to go. I don't need to play the whole season, and it's actiony and it, it fulfills that need of oh my god, it's action and dunks and blocks and it's. And that's why that game has persisted so long because you can get into it, but you can just get in and out easily. Because a lot of sports games aren't pick up and play because they take longer than you'd think. And they're more involved. And you have to think more about a baseball game or a football game with strategy. I love baseball um, games, but they're the, they're the not exact opposite yeah. definition of pick up and no. play. A baseball game is no. not... So, they can take a long time. Especially if you never played the game before and you got to learn baseball rules. If you don't know baseball, is it's insane the rules of baseball. What the hell is an infield fly rule? Like, even when you're a kid, it's hard to figure <laughs> that one out. You know, so so NBA Jam is up there. Um, I was trying to think of if, a, if a, a first person shooter could be a pick up and play if you're already familiar with it. You go online, you, you play, you can play a few rounds, and, and you sort of get that. And you can play some Unreal Tournament, you're done with it. You know, you know, you don't have to play a whole session. You play a game of assault, takes you like ten minutes, sure, at, at most. Uh, well, to me, a pick up and play means I can toss it down within like 20 minutes and you basically have your full game experience and you're, you're satisfied uh, with it right there. Um, I don't, uh, going back to retro stuff, they have to be games that you are good at, uh, necessarily, like a platform you're good at, like Contra can be pick up and play because you can get through it like in 20 minutes, 25 minutes. But for the most part, I, I, I would prefer something a little more arcadey action where uh, it stops and ends. And, and a preset time, so to speak. Sure. That that's what I, I like to keep my mind on versus a game where you have to be an expert at contra for it to be like a pick up and play really, or else you need that thirty life code. And it's not like really pick up and play anymore. It's like a chore uh, to someone uh, at, at that point. Um, yeah, those came to mind to me. Uh, overhead racing games, a first person shooter, uh, for sure. A game like NBA Jam, uh, like that. That's just a quick arcadey type experience. Not necessarily in the arcade. Uh, fighting games can be pick up and play. Uh, if you're familiar with them already, you have to be familiar with obviously. You know, the, they are the pick up and play in uh, so much that they are short, and if you sure. like you said, if you know what you're doing, that works. But I, I I wouldn't recommend them in the same breath as some of the other stuff you did or what I did because there's oh the, there's a learning curve. The learning curve of fighting games yeah. is extreme. But like Smash Brothers, one of the only fond memories of me being in a fraternity, one of the only ones was we play Smash Brothers almost after every lunch. We play, play Smash Brothers for like a half hour. You get everyone in, you get like eight people watching, and you can play in a half hour, and that's like a whole session. That's like, you know, five, six games that you get in there. You know, if you put your stock at like whatever, three or four or five, um, and you do a round, then, then you're done. You're satisfied. Okay, I'm good. I'll see you tomorrow. I'll see you next week on Smash Brothers. Um, yeah, that's also a game with four players, so you can satisfy everyone at once. That's all the conversation. Multiplayer pick up and play games. That could be a whole other conversation. Oh, yeah. Topic for the future. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I, I think that's a pretty solid thing. So shooters, some fighting games, some arcade games, some some racing games that are like overhead 
you know, it's just quick, quick blasts of action. I almost said quick ass blasts, quick blasts of action in there. That's another type of game that could be that could be a totally different. Pick up and play ass blasts. 